Oh. Well, you you just... can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I understand. You would have to put a torch on me, and I'm standing here naked. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This is where Delphine wanted us to meet her, inside the Sleeping Giant Inn. We've had time to rest, get a change of clothes, and see what else is next. out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Um, you're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. So what's your plan? Nematis, really? That's so rude. Um, what is your plan? How do I infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy? The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellenwyn regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Um, how do you know I can trust this Malborn? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. And just how am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Okay, so once I'm inside, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay then, I'll see you in solitude after I meet Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. Okay, Nematis, let's go. We're off to Solitude. I think Melbourne must be inside here. Yes. Why am I tired? Let's go in. Hmm, do you see him anywhere? He's in the inn. Look around. I'm sure you'll find him. Okay, thanks, Nomad. Wait. I think this is him. Malborn? Hmm? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? What? what? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Um, well, what kind of thing should I bring? You're asking me? Yes. She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. All right, well... 
I guess I'm ready. Here's what I'll need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, well, I have to I take the clothes off my back. Because I will we need them because of the enchantments in them. The Alright, Namata, stop staring at me. The Where's the door? Comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. Nematis, I feel you staring at me. Come on, let's go. I've got a little word if you're interested, traveler. And let's go and meet Delphine. There's Delphine. All right, don't stare and don't Have say anything Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Well, I'm standing here naked, so yes, Malborn is all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party, but the oh, only good. way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest, which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here. Put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. All right, then. Oh, you, you just... can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I understand. You would have to put a torch on me, and I'm standing here naked. Hold on, let me get dressed. All right. How's this? I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Yes, I'm ready. You keep the rest of my things safe for me. Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Thank you. Fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Oh, of course not. That would certainly be a shame. And I know what you There's mean. There's not enough drinking in the world. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to drink. Please. I will just rest here a moment. Although it is damnably cold out here, I don't look forward to the trip back down. I bet not. But it was nice to meet your acquaintance, sir, and I will Perhaps see you we inside. Might share a carriage after the party. Yes, we might. I know, I know. We've just met. But think, by the time the party is over, we'll no doubt be fast friends. I look forward to it. All right. See you inside. Hello. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Um, okay. Well, here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. The Thalmor Embassy welcomes. Yes, yes. Now, well, thank you. You're kind. All right, here we go. Uh oh. Welcome. Oh. I don't believe we've met. Um. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim, and you are. Um. My name is Zoltan, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... 
to Skyrim. What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. All right, well, thank you. These are troubling times indeed. I hope they'll serve the roast venison with bitter green sauce that we had at the last party. That oh was goodness, delicious. It's General Tully, yes. agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? Well, I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorland Greymane. It's not really a fair comparison, if you ask me. After all, Yorland works the Skyforge. How is any smith going to compete with that? Preventus? Trust me, there's no place better to forge relationships with the movers and shakers of Skyrim. Are you enjoying the party? Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, I am indeed. Elenwyn always serves the best wine at her parties. The food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can understand that, but yes, this, this is quite a gathering, wouldn't you say? Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. And don't let me keep you. Enjoy yourself. These Stormcloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What have you heard? I heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. They seem to think that it's at least a dozen, but I'm sure they're exaggerating. They're probably trying to scare us into giving them more money and influence, so they can save us from the dragon's threat. General? I wasn't expecting to see you here. Yes, I be assume careful what you you're have saying. your reasons. Everyone does. This must be awkward for you. That's putting it mildly. The Thalmor invite me here to remind everyone that they can tell the Empire what to do. I would refuse, but I don't want to jeopardize the peace between us. And what do you know of our host? Alanwen is a formidable woman. She lacks for neither cunning nor ambition. Now that I think of it, she would have made a fine Imperial General. Hmm. Keep an eye on these Thalmor. You never know. Yes, I know. All right, Mr. Malborn. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Yes, let's hope. I'd like a drink to settle my nerves first, though. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian oh. brandy. Is there yes. anything else I can get for you? Oh, no, thank you. That That's delicious. Um, maybe one more? We seem to have run out of Colobian brandy. I'll check in the wine cellar for more when I get a moment. All right, then. I guess I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Oh, Jarl Ravencrone. I remember you. If your eyes and your ears are open, and your mind is free of judgment and expectation, you might learn much in this chamber. Are you having a good time? Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. Do you visit the embassy often? There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. Yes, I hear that. May wisdom light your path. Eriker? The Great War is long past. 
It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. And what brings you to this party? You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> you sound like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly. And you? She is an elf. I haven't met your acquaintance. You Serving girl! <sighs> Just between us, here? I've got more important things to do than attend these meaningless parties. Well, what brings you to the party? Ill luck. I'm a busy man, and I don't have time for this sort of frivolity. But at the same time, I don't dare refuse an invitation from Elenwyn. You certainly don't look happy to be here. Is it that obvious? I should take pains to seem more happy. I wouldn't want to upset our host. But the truth of it is, I have a mountain of paperwork back in Windhelm, and it's not getting any smaller. I just hope this party doesn't drag on all night. All goodbye. Right. Yes, Victoria. goodbye. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh, it's Jarl Elisif. Isn't this something? Ellen nice really knows you. how to host a party. Um, Elisif, I actually could use your help with something. I'm always glad to help a friend if I can. What do you need? I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Oh, perhaps not then. I don't think the Jarl of Solitude should be participating in a childish prank. What? But you'd be doing me a good, a big favor. Oh, all right. If it's so important to you, I suppose I can help. Thank you. What? Do you know who I am? I should have you taken up and flogged. What? Of course I know who you are. There's no excuse for your behavior. I don't you behave even like you're carousing in a house of Let's ill go. Before anyone Not notices the residence us. of okay. the Thalmor ambassador. Razlan, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. He's disturbing the other guests. I protest. Yes, this Mr. is an ambassador. insult to the dignity of my person. This time I'm completely innocent. Oh, so far, so good. I'm afraid I may Let's hope nobody reacted. saw us slip out. Please, we need I to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. I'm Just sure stay close and let lesson. me do any talking. Let's got it? I've got it. That is absolutely untrue! Uh, that is... Yes, of course. What? I don't understand. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Very Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? Yes, I'm sorry. It's against the rules. I'm quite ill. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Thank you. I, I'm so ill. Thank you. I'll lock the door behind you. All right. Screw this up. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. We're trying to figure out how many dragons there are. They seem to think it's at least a dozen. Oh, I, well, I guess I have to put my gear on a piece at a time, huh? I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. All right, hold on. I think I'm ready. I've even brought a mask so that they won't know who I am. Come on. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead.
Is my style seen? All right, I'm ready. Very much so. And thank you for asking. It pleases me to hear you say. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm. Good luck. Did you see those robes? You're on your own this morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot slogger. Ha 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 ha! Well, we'd better get All back right. to our round. Use an invisibility spell and move through the area. Someone following? Nomadus, what are you doing here? Okay. I thought I was doing this by myself. I don't know how you found me. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for. The Talos mistake. History and culture, I'll take that. Discovered! Might as well take the armor, it's quite expensive. Alright, I was trying to find out what's in here. I 
think we're good. And we have several copies. If you're apologizing, I hope it's for sneaking in here to this party. I'm supposed to be doing this by myself. Oh. I don't know how we're going to do this without being discovered. my invisibility, but what about you? started the entire compound set them against us Yes, this is how we're sneaking through. Who is this? A spy? Let's see if I can do this. Huh? It worked! Wow, it also caused a big explosion, too.
Hopefully there was nothing in here that was important. Was that powerful? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Dragon investigation. First emissary, Ellen Wynn. We anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead whom we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is, a, is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, if you wish to audit our technique, your expertise is welcome as always. I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Hmm. Oh, what's this? A dossier on Delphine? Hmm, a high priority target. Yes, it talks about her being a member of the Blades. Let me take this, and then one on Ulfric as well? He was taken prisoner of the war, okay. The coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume, therefore, that their goals align with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided. However, so even indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. So, as I suspected, the Thalmor have nothing to do with the dragons. It's someone else. All right, let's, um... I guess we're headed down this way. Sorry about all the mess I left. So much for being stealthy. Apologies. Hmm. 
here's another dossier on Esburn. Esburn was one of the Blade's lore masters. Pri pri okay, let's try this again. Esburn was one of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to be behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falonesti incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years in an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Eleanor for punishment and re-education. Oh, this is terrible. These Thalmor are... I don't know what to even say about them. All right, let's get this uh, dossier. I heard footsteps. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move slowly. <gasps> Come on. <gasps> oh, I'm being attacked. Oh, well, before an us. What? I kill them with one blast, okay. Esburn, oh my goodness, you're covered in blood. I guess it's not yours, though. Are you okay? Well, I don't know. I heard them beating you. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Well, I thought you signed on for this. Come on. All right, what is this? Let's go. Let's talk to this prisoner in here. You! I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want, then? There's no time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. You go ahead. I'm not done here. Well, wait a minute. First of all, who are you and what are you doing here? They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Okay. That's all you're going to tell me? All right, well, you go ahead. I'm not done here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. All right. Look out, look Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. Yes, I know, I, I know. I just wanted to take a look up here. Oh, is this where we... Alright, I guess there's nothing up here then. Alright, Malborn, Nematis, let's go. Everyone's waiting on me. Everyone here? Okay, let's go. <gasps> Some sort of creature. Jim, that I will never be able to find out any more about. Okay. 
way. I think that's it. Alright, how do we get out of here? Huh? Look out. Okay, everyone here? Let's go. Alright, we have... Who was that running? Oh, that was Malborn running off. Okay, Etienne. Yeah, you're running off too. Alright, Nematis, I guess we need to get back to Riverwood then. Delphine, are you down here? There once was a hero named Ragnar. Made it out alive, at least. Yes. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Thank Did you, you learn anything useful? Well, it's it's like I thought. I mean, you were jumping to conclusions. The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Absolutely. And yes, I'm sure. They were looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So, the Thalmor think the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. <laughs> Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. All right, very well. Let me get my items back. And I need to put on my earring of unburden so that I can carry all this stuff. There. Nothing like having an enchanted earring. Alright, Nematis. I think we're headed back to Riften.